Osa e koso e woho In the meantime, I'm in a Max Buy. A year, the month of love promo no Sam and Chill. This February, Max Buy, your one stop shop for phones and accessories. Yeah, the, the month of love promo no air bar. The attorney say, all you have to do is just walk to any Max Buy shop. Now I do favorite and genuine brands which is said techno, infinix. Itel and all the leading accessories brands at very affordable prices. Now, over to ya, Yamawa Chedi Ebitis speakers, smart watches, mugs, chocolate, sparkling wines, and many more. You can visit the over 40 branches of Max Buy across Ghana. Uber Timia Ba and Kraiha, Kumase Takrade, Tamale Sunyai, Hoko Fogia, Suedro Kepkus, Brekum, Ahonina. You experience a world class customer service with approved. 12 plus one month manufacturer's warranty. Umpewi, now pedian. You can log on to www.maxbuy.com.gh or www.technogana.com to shop online. Freyane, it was 0544 592 and our 054 059 for further inquiries. Max Buy, happy life. <laughs> And access from Kunkoma Techno Mobile, Omo Air Boy Chidom, Omo Tai Chi, and Edijumede Air Ba. Na Medica Kachi Osen, and a Upesonia wonderful shopping experience from Techno. And also do any Echa Dakuman Junction, Danke Sim Techno House, a whole NL bar, second floor, state of the art modern shopper, ye bie and che bian ye bie ye, Obaha. Proper customer service. Africa, mobile phones are techno diabo jum yin nere bi ewoha. Messi as when you saw catching techno brand ben our pe a techno phantom v folder na a techno phantom flip folder na and I a techno come on twenty pro a techno spark twenty ana techno emudian and our bar unye bi yen in temen na bra na be judi sanse adajeni o cra and a duduana and a duo any chair techno house or da command junction on barbe jom techno fret techno was zero five nine six nine one three three two zero Techno, stop at nothing. Proud sponsors of the Sports Park on Max FM 89.7. Today, we are in Kumasi. GFA, meet the press. Now, the internet and central phone penny for this one more day. Boycott, one more cop. They're going to explain to us and we'll find out their reasons. <laughs> You can enjoy the football season on Star Times. With him said, Star Times, Anna, and a Omode, the Saudi Pro League, Ebro, on Sunday, a yet Germany, Uko Pima, Bundesliga, so so, Ninebi, Star Times was say, bra. now Nyomo Emeshim Boom, the Ghana Premier League returns after the AFCON, and it's going to be live on Star Times. And intimate can for Star Times, among Yan and Kwai, your non stop telling novellas, news content, channels, I would do be and a good Star Times, so, Ubetimi, Akwako Jodia, now also so, why enjoy it? Plus, the full kit, you get your decoder, your dish, your cable, plus a uh, super packager, and also Star Time Sebra. Now, on your more machine boom, you can call Star Times for more information. Or it was 055 Star Times, enjoy the guitar live. Time check is a quarter past nine on Max 89.7. This is the Sports Park. It's interactive. And like I always say, don't be a passive listener. Be an active one. Get involved in the discussion. 050-63-67196. Is your views that make the show big. Without your views, there's no show. GFA meets the press. 
What are your thoughts? Unye bi koya. Nka question me na obi bisa umu. Africa, I've been say, Speaker of Parliament. Or say ne coaching kona coaching mra. Coaching kona coaching mra no. Enye no ne bema Ghana Black Star na Ghana Bono. Aye. Eno so uje mo saying. Ninyi na ye deba. Ene so two semi-final fixtures. Ninyi na blockbuster fixtures. Nigeria, Super Eagles. Womini Bafana Bafana of South Africa. Ene di boeni. Sansu so ena Cote d'Ivoire, the host nation. Omni the Democratic Republic of Congo. Ene boeni. What are your predictions for tonight's African champion? African Cup of Nations semi finals. Mientonka and Ope El Jumedian so. Okay, as we wait to cross over to Kumase, some news from Europe. Now, if you Africa, you know there was a boon, there was a Copa de Rey game yesterday. Now, eh, Mallorca any Sociedad, a pair of goals are obiang team Anshan and Young. Who England? Now, FA Cup matches the Barcelona round four games. Coventry City on Sheffield Wednesday four one, and at least a share Plymouth Eagle by four one. Southampton so a share Watford three nil. Jordan surprisingly a share Korea in the semi finals of the Asian Cup. Wow, Leverkusen this don't stop winning. Oma Kopiem Ewa semi-finals of the DFBR. Oma Chef VFB Stuttgart by three goals to two. Yako Amano Sona, Yako Chichin Komo from Kumasi. Yeni, Yenya Delali Atiasi. Delali Atiasi is a senior journalist in Kumasi with the multimedia group. Now, Dela is a journalist with many years experience uh, Nanki assured him said he would grace the meet the presser uh, GF for no Ede Bao Kumasi Lancaster in Tianyue say Bimpoa when I'm offer a oh it's your work with you more hi Dela good morning morning Anna not book or dear now we are doing the one I'm sorry I already had more now you can't say oh sure oh sure oh sure oh sure oh sure oh sure oh Hey, <laughs> 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 Good to hear from you again, official pastor. Yeah, nice to hear from you too. Yeah, official pastor. I think coming to your office and I'll be a cost of coming. There are just the way there, Mpacho. Unam Kwanso, how could you have a meet the press, Nana? Unfortunately, Nana, um, a Jumano is a church in Mukaka. Um, many, um, guy back home, a man back home, a friend is still in Zandu. Now, yeah, it was half Konuku so Koso. And we have other, um, engagement, half contrary. I represent the team, you know, a year long stuff. But make us say, um, what could do? Ah, in common, HSA, and Chibiano, Jimedina, ever started. Menenica and Chibiana, Moso Mufre. I was supposed to have started at nine in Ghana time, and maybe a bit delay a few minutes. Yes, just maybe in the next 10 or 15 minutes. I'm just saying, attendance, let's say, according to him, it's not bad. Minutes, uh, corner events, and best starting. No, na you're Yanni Padodona, Ewoho, but um, and Ram Yankasa personally on my own self, many communication that I talk to in Como, and I just on or Kumasi from Monday, you know, trying to you know speak to other media colleagues. So I only said, um, you see before uh, the tournament, the team will be about Kumasi be still for almost um, eight nine days, but one uh, virtually, I mean, the media was not. Anywhere close to the team, just say, not team me here, me the ano wa munche be be ama, me ninte be ano hu, me me utterances be one morning be a issue. Na yeka say even kwa no team no, eba be ko ah the evening before mbabi tour, amone his excellence na na dudangwa ekufado, e tutu amonsa, e di di ombidi inkomo, e wo e ye 
Golden Bean Hotel. No? They failed to invite, they didn't invite even one single press from Media House from Kumasi. And there seemed to be some, a bit of anger at what Kumasi Sports Media and also towards the FA. But I'm sure Sir Henry brought back two days earlier. And probably he was able to speak to a lot of um, the senior colleagues around that. Um, I'm sure Sir, people will be representing. And we hope Sir, the message in the FA is that I'm going to talk about the message in the cordiality I expected between the media and the GFA will work out. In fact, um, as I late yesterday, I mean, information said I'm see after the media, we, you know, they wanted to play a football match, a friendly match per se, without the media. But just about an hour or so ago, I said this almost cancelled, you know, because I think the uh, media and also um, and um, and, um, this information should not come very early. Um, that's the situation now. Uh, we are hoping that what they are coming to say is something that will suit the heart of commercial media. And um, it will be more of a, a cordial, you know, um, event. Ah, we'll be able to Kennedy, we'll be able to be and Sana, and Kofa, and George, and Bana. You know, we'll move together. Because, Nana, um, when him say, I mean, the, the FA, yes, they are there, but they cannot be there without the media. Whether they like it or not, we work hand in hand. In you know, I mean, we are part of them, and they are part of us. Um, uh, in as much as the the almost the almost no, you see the other. But one thing they have to always realize is the fact that you can't do it away. We can't do it without the media, and um, the president of the football association and even the general secretary. They've been in the media landscape before, so they should know how these things work. And it's not everybody who will be singing your praises. And, you know, before the money be over, they should just take it. Um, how they should just take it and make it look as if say. Uh, is there? Some kind of disaffection for the FA in Kumase ahead of this meet the press. Well, I mean, uh, obvious. I mean, it's an open secret. A lot of people are not happy, especially with the way they they virtually snubbed the media when they came on that um, training camp here in Kumase before moving to um, La Côte d'Ivoire. This was not the best because, honestly speaking, apart from mandatory, and I say no, I'm making say mandatory, but apart from say Omone. Um, that was Namibia, a more friendly, a more time, a more media, no, a more boost, a more in some back you know, which looks very official. There was nothing virtually from the FA towards the media, a more commercial. You, all uh, person, all team, no, I want to win, go home. You'll be looking for the president. He's not around. Um, communication that I'm going to be, you know, and you know, we people wanted to have a feel of the team, what you said, but virtually, you know, there was there was distance between the media and the and the and the black stars. Ah, uh, for me, it was not good. Nobody is saying, say. Um, people want to maybe flock their hotel or just flood there with their cameras. No, but I mean, maybe uh, within the 10 days, maybe in the one day, we will say, Charlie, today, let's give Kumasi Media maybe some 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Let them just come and have a friendly interaction with the, with the team, both officials and the team and all that. You see, so I'm wondering, I'm a boy, I'm a man for, I'm a team, you know, I'm more. So, it's a question, I say, I don't know, I'm going to go see, 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 Honestly, I won't say that everything is, is smooth between the media in Kumasi and the Ghana Football Association, from my end, anyway. And I've been monitoring radio programs, of course, uh, during the day, Ubekas Utia, Kakao, Monita, Kakao, Monita, Kakao. And there's a lot of disaffection. But maybe I'm just praying that this will bring some cordiality between the two entities. Wow. Now, in the say when you're interested, and I think at, at least between you and Zando, you are the senior. Why didn't you go? Baby, and I make us a. <laughs> Bakacho was there, Jumani, at the time, yeah, yeah. And the, uh, I'm not, you are not interested. Oh, not that I'm not interested. Whatever happens there, I'll get to know. Maybe I'm always there, I'm at the You do not have, um, you, we, no, we, you, you, we, with we, your experience, we, you do not have questions you want to ask the GFA. And, and that's why I have a representative. And you know, my question is, somebody, I don't know, they don't know. The last seminar, okay, what do you question, Samo, be so, Kobu Samo? Me, Pacho, Nana, as you know, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. But the fact is that, I told you, I have other commitments in the office as well. What I'm saying, saying that, that don't you think your listeners and the people that follow you will be disappointed? Say, will be to say, will say, won't call GF in media press. They, they, they need not to be disappointed. I'll be very surprised and shocked if they are disappointed because I'm not the only sports presenter at Love FM. Um, I have other colleagues who are virtually as good as I am. Maybe the only difference is that I've been in the system for a long time than them. But, I mean, virtually we do everything. Is it, but is it watch. not obvious that you, you are not happy with the FA? That's the reason you don't want to go? No, I might not be happy with their decisions, but I have a lot of friends in the FA. So I want to know. 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 I want
there is there is on a personal note there is nothing but just say the way I'm say I don't I don't see anything wrong with it. Indeed, if it's wrong, we'll say it's wrong. If you don't like it, we'll say well, we don't like it. But if that is what is um ABA and your mother fine, but and I make kind of say I don't think this this time, no, this this near course is here. It's a time for us to go back and go and say, say, and I'm buying a man fee and I say, say, I think it's the right approach that we're taking. Um, Oma Bano, yeah, and enter me because I'm hoping it's an event, you know, at the in Kabumu, Ebeba, in your mountain, so that when we are reaching out to them, it was it will not be like us, oh, we're from Kromu, and I say, I'm buying a confirmation, I'm from Mao. Maybe they also have very, very tangible reasons in Tia, ABA, and then you the person you team no one or more allow you. Probably it could be from maybe the technical head, or it could be from maybe this point. It could be from that point. I know, and they were, they were, they were, they were helpless. And I say, in fact, say, you know, all they had to do was just to maybe take the instructions of the coach or something. I'm sure that this event is going to bring a lot of things out. But um, on the on the matter of whether um, I'm not going because I'm disappointed, that's not a fact. Although I'm not happy about a lot of things that has gone on. Especially in recent times under Ketu Kweku. But then, I don't just say, and yet the first time I'm on I think uh, two or three years ago, that was held at Mikri. I was there, I was there with the team, because at that time, you know, I was available. But today, unfortunately, I'm not available. But the question is, maybe, or why? You know, so you have to visit Kakadi, I'm not in Ketu Kweku. So, when you opportunity, you know, so, but, sir, it's virtually the same answer. Now, you know, so you can say, you can see if you want to hear So, I mean, it is what it is, sanity. The last so. Hey. <laughs> Thank you very much for talking yeah, to us. Yeah, Michelle. Yeah, Michelle. So all the best, man. All right, bro. The is a senior sports journalist in Kumasi. I want a GFE. Amity Press no on your and Kumo. Now, we'll get back to Kumasi and also speak to another journalist and find out what is transpiring at the grounds where the FA is meeting the press. Hey! I'm just reading that George Watson, the former assistant coach of the Black Stars, has applied for the job. <laughs> hey, Azimu. Kumasi, now we are getting back to Kumasi. We are going to the Lancaster Hotel specifically. Yani, your correspondent Hi. for yep. Max FM in Kumasi, Andy Pumayi, and Hi, good morning, Andy. Good morning, boss. Let's say. Yami, I don't be able to call him on Pyro. The radio is saying, who is that? I am in Lancaster Hotel. Ah, I know what I Lancaster, how are you doing? I am going to say, what is it? I am going to say, Lancaster Hotel. GFA, a year as co members, and our twins are friends and trophy for say, Yamrana, or more any young children come over, come in war, a year blasters of Ghana, or more dominate La Cote d'Ivoire for Afghana, near my uncle, you know, or more Abishans and Trophona, near Antutu, you know, meet me at Church Rimuna, and so a year question, I say, ye did a momono, ye did a momono, so in Yanubia, so many Mayano, or more the Amaya said, yeah. Ghana football ni biti miya kwe na pepe yon so eti mi abaye Ghana football ni mu. Enzi udru ono, efe fona babi udru, en sentre for dudu ose na aba. Epa cho, efe foni di ubi aba, eh, GFA president Mr. Kate Okreku o wahanom, tansu, ana vice president Mr. Mark Adon, so wahanom, ana all esko members no, minu ke se yomu nina wahanom ha, ye eshu e ni mse, Mrene Beso na ye de press conference no asya so. Sansu na ye colleagues mi chile nse mchofo no so. Dodo na apa a omu so. E ba be te di a nse omu be te di a GFA. E ye GFA chairman a nase GFA president a na esku meme se no so. E de betu ye ni mna. Ano pa yi me nyanin ti ye se. E kumase nse mchofo no na omu buwe fukaka. Ya mi ni mse nyade omu beba beko so omu tira ti ni se nyade omu beba. Now, I'm about the genius, my dear president, any escomers, and anybody between me, my son, 
a year back performance, a course, so ever like code of one internal, not in central for the BF, a boyful. Baby Bayan also, Mahuk Martin, central for the Bri, or Momo Cass or Momano, or Mohanoma, or Mubabe Tinia, GF President, Mr. Simon Keto Kreku, and any Esco members, no, and the battery, and Nimna, you also question the old piano, so yet the Momo Nomaso, or Made, and we the Ada May. Ome Cassombe shall say nine, or my shall say. Mepacho. Menuka said here, Omunyan Sati, and Okresa Omudi added to you, and him say nine o'clock, and Omer Sati. Be Menuka say about nine thirty, a couple ten. Nanya, they are in central for his Yemuno, a Timia Sati, and him say, and walk by ten o'clock with the now, yes, Timia Sati program, now, Lancaster Hotel. Na and central for all dosu. Menuka said in central for what they are also. Sao soon I view so and I'm quan so mobile. It's here make us say me and sa a room or almost so air quack or yeah could yana or my system ran a song na pens confession and so eddy I said fifty cent drop I want me dear or mudos ya or more shame him send many person na question be a will be an edi ama a yes GF and pain for no more so answers be a will be on somebody am I na ya won't have a gun of football and so ever co. Yes, as a draw from penny for be so commas is on there or moon co. What is TVB sir? And okay, it's a job for a war, Kumasia no more. I can say, and yet you won't be for a sign. So, when we say Ghana football and yadi and yama, a koye football no air dead. And to a moon, say, oh, my dad, Emma, a meeting yard, dear feet. And then a yen the Esco members and all, a bear catcher, yes, and so forth. But Menuka said, don't don't answer about. But in painful, they will no more on my on my dear, a queen, a way in central monument. May said the end warm. Do not there about Amo, Ebabiti, Nia, Mr. Simon Keto Preku, and any Esco members, no Edibatu, and Nia, so question B will be on the Amomino or Mamma Yanke. All right, Yadassi, on Shasia, Yabesan Bounchen, Yami Sharp, Yadassi. Okay. Tell I'm seeing some interesting stories this morning. No, there's this stone boy manager say, say, uh, Professor Chumen Siko Kase, and I know stadium, I'm doing high stone boy for beam concerts. No, Professor Chumen Siko Kao public accounts committee says stone boy more than 70,000. There's this stone boy manager, and so your truth, more than 70,000, more than 70,000. The big question is, send on the man, what is the difference? Now, the ain't no code declare 70 or public accounts committee. There's a lot of dishonesty in the system, and they, I'm a a amount for be a lucy interesting sports and football administrators. And he said, Stoneboy manager, Eddie Samuel Bar. But he said, Who been here? You've been interrogated at seven and he said, The sports authority, Papa Nekano, and no cray. And I said, The Stoneboy manager, and a cannon, and no cray. Because you're close to the stadium now, you're close to you're close to a cross sports stadium. Any idea. A concert, any shifting football matches, a cook, my senior sugar copper. And then it's what is can now be under declare. And I say, Timmy Busansem, and the way there, I think we'll be going there gradually. Kakra, Grenade, meet the press, and better key center stage of program. So, but as time goes on, we'll delve into it. And see, Shannon Sumai. I can be said, me me shed the speaker can you know, but before that, you have seen it. Collins at Abu Kukasa, he's one of the journalists. The artists almost you know they are staging a boycott from the GFS uh, meet the press in Kumasi. So we'll get to him very soon, and then we we'll talk to him. But me say me ni na ni du kasa kakra. There are two big games: Nigeria, South Africa, Congo, and Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah. And I think we should have been there, but anyway, there. Not just say our presence should be felt. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Now your listeners, this is a city of Koso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you are doing it. I know you are doing it. I know you are doing it. Semi-final stage of the Africa Cup of Nations. 
2023 airbus on there 5 p.m and of course 8 p.m respectively and i first say so because in pen so are you doing any of these teams can win the tournament huh? i'm sure that person is not far from a right south africa nigeria five Côte d'Ivoire, Dia Congo, 8 o'clock. The reason why a person a man for Nyan to Boise, no more take the preview of these games in the say. There's a lot, lot of history around these four teams at almost here in the semi final stage of the competition. Now, in a country like Dia Congo, Osia, Ivory Coast, May I sure say if there is a country uh, winning the AFCON, come at your match, is them DRC, yeah? DRC. Because out of the four teams, no one will win the and of course, 1974. 56 years. And 50 years. To the last time they won it was 50 years ago. When you look at their route to the final, Omokoje, uh, on two occasions in here, that is the two finals on Abo. The two Ninja Mutu And in their quest to win the two finals in 78, 68, and of course 74, 50 years ago, in the semi final, they have to eliminate the host nation before they win the final. In May, they are meeting the host nation, Ivy Coast, 8 p.m. That is one thing about country affairs, the GR Congo. Anyhow, they see this particular Afghan. Any quiet tournament to be able to match bomb. So it makes their game very interesting today. In the over situation, you find yourself now. Uh, very important. In the, the Ivory Coast team, the DR Congo team, they have a lot of things to protect. In this particular Afghan, any tournament, AC Fire, Air Koso. So, Nana, it's a good final we are going to witness. I'm just looking at the DR Congo team. Report I met and they say there is no fresh injury in the Dia Congo team camp. That is a good sign for them a bit more warm. Now resort to more pay. It's my boom, it's okay. In the situation I'm finding of myself now, it makes their game against Ivory Coast. No? Very interesting. Ivory Coast on the other side, it misses some key players. And then they are back who imagine him say a big blow on the side of the Ivory Coast team. But we did you say a moment in which must a good football in the semi-final stage of this competition. So then, more interest in that particular game involving the two of them. Let's look at the the Congo route to the semi-final stage of the competition. Kwanya Mofaso, eno mo modem modem mo be do some pen pen so we. Sebastian Dasebre. From nowhere, taking over the Dia Congo team. Kwanya Mofaso bo mo qualifies. Kwanya Mofaso mo bo playoff. Unu zana mo kat teams na, mo bo playoffs ni biya. Ye di yi, five teams are qualified for a World Cup. So, tell us, no man yang to boa, se abdo di team we ne, de be do some pen pen so we. So, it makes their game, very interesting today. Yeah, you know, you opportunity to see how this particular Dia Congo team will fare against Ivory Coast. Sergio Aria is out. Oh, to me, see a kind of more. Few games are one more, any games are only opportunity to see a kind of more. The impact no, has been felt in this Ivory Wing team. I'm more, 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 more,
Or my messy in this particular tournament. But I'm hoping, sir, Ombenya a good replacement for him now. I show my name, it's my bomb. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the draw. I'm not be surprised. The Dia Congo game against Ivy Coast. E enter into an extra timer. Nana, I mean, you'll be a mere surprise about it. Because of the recent performance of the two teams. And how are you going to go to the semi final stage? And how are you going to go to the semi stage? And how are you going to go to the semi final stage? In the semi-final game, I'm going to say, Saya semi, I'm a struggle, I'm a ticker, no. I'm going to go into the extra time, no. You have to work on that, because they have to go to the very discipline. And they score from all angles. I think that this particular tournament, no. Teams in the room, into the knockout phase, I'm going to do semi-final stage, no. I mean, one of the teams, I'm going to go to So it means, I'm going to go to the nine in so the Ivorian defense needs to be aware and be careful about the Diya Congo team today. The reason why I'm in Nyayan Karibu is in the final is because host place in the final is a good tournament in my To be Nyayan Karibu. But the Diya Congo team is a team here. You cannot write them off. If you want to beat them and beat them well and qualify to the final, now what is over to Magia? And so go beyond the Yehusa Wobono. Ronald is still against Senegal. Extra time for Ivy Coast penalty will qualify. In the quarter final game against Mali, extra time. What was it? 2-1 or what qualify? So it means in the full 90 minutes, you struggle to get the maximum win. So all the knockout games in Niano, every coach will have to travel to play 120 minutes before. And they are facing Dia Congo one of the good free scoring side. Four time, no, no, 90 minutes. Either a goalless draw or a 1-1 one -one draw. Extra time, maybe probably penalty shootout will determine who qualifies to the final involving Ivory Coast. And Dia Congo. 55% made the Ivory Coast. 45% made the Dia Congo. Any of them could go to the final. But my favorite is Ivory Coast to get into the final stage of the competition. The last one, eh, Nigeria. Ah, oh, no opportunity. No, no, swabo. Big game against Hugo Bruce, South Africa. A new form South Africa who are also doing war in this competition. And right, time and I a program and your opportunity. I need the communication manager for the Nigeria Football Federation, Edin Kobono. We are confirming, sir, Vito Simin, air travels at time on the air casano. Abba Boake. But the team need to cry about it. When man travel with the team. But the pay report, I mean, we didn't in the eyes. Osimen has been fast fit. For the game of about against South Africa. Make us a big news. And any Nigerian BR about this news about the Tosimen. Because make us say, on the driving team, no. The main figure in the team, defenders you see, I can remember. And all these defenders you see, I can no more say the Tosimen. The presence in it alone, I can't say a lot for the Super Eagles. So I'm hoping, say, Obaye fully fed not to train the nine and yes, semi final no or struggle to make it. But what about Bob and Bonnie and their mom? Ademola Lukman looks ready for the game for Nigeria. So a game here, South Africa for any of the teamwork is there, understanding is there. There is something working for them, and they have an experienced coach in Hugo Bruce. But Nigeria experience no who guide them. And they are there back one. Ever bomb in this particular tournament. My favorite to qualify to the final stage of the competition, Nana, is the Nigerian team. I feel almost something in them are air driving. And Nana, Upo, Upo, among the teams now qualify, no. Team back one, 
Obu a lot of support. Obu ko final and demonstrate a lot about the African game. It's Nigerian team, no? Massive support. The fan base is huge when they are competing well in a African tournament. I hear more. So, I wish the Nigerian team could go to the final. My mom was a slim win. A 1 0 win or a 2 1 win for the Nigerian team over South Africa. You got blue steam in your bad. They can cause surprise in this particular tournament. But I think it's between Omo and the South Africa for now. I'm tipping the Nigerian team to get to the final stage of the competition. Imagine me, I'm still a good team now. It was so much more than the South Africa team to make it to the final. So, my favorite to be in the final is obviously Nigeria and, of course, Ivory Coast in the final. Nanedu predicts Nigeria. Cote d'Ivoire in the finals of the AFCON. Well, we have our brother Atapuko on the line. Atapuko is uh, one of Ghana's finest sports journalists working with Sumpa TV and Sumpa FM in Kumasi. Now, I'm going to talk about press conferences. I'm going to drive you. I'm going to drive you. Good morning, Atapuko. Good morning, Nana Dakwa. Good morning, Nana Dakwa. Good morning, Nana Dakwa. Good morning, Nana Dakwa. Yeah, we have the mini. I mean, we have partner outside. Ah, I do matter quite. The radius is set, and the chain. Absolutely. Now, but you, who Lancaster Hotel? But you, Davy. I'm finna uko. Me touch your water, man. Say, and the press conference in the main cabin. Ah, uh, who? Who back on later? But you, Davy, miss your guy. Aden. Kodu Abidjan made the request to GFA. He said, "I'm on my end a day to interact with Black Stars and the official donor. The important bridge gap between Ghana supporters and the press and the national team. Now the request is for our Henry Asante to come. She no make a change. And then you both are going to be my star player. And she be an energy of four stones after he in. I said, 'Wow, first of all, we are at a hotel. I have a Pullman hotel. No, no more your media opinion.'" Now, with many Nigeria players, and then official Sabe Kasa. Human will tell you, you are not black stars. You could do what you heard in Nigeria for me, and I said, Papa, you're saying, Kasa, I'm on my idea. Now, I'm going to buy in the house. Nigeria, we're going to have the same hotel, the same competition that mobile. I didn't think I'm on my Kenya, and I'm black stars, and I heard the other one by Kenya. On that basis of being turned down, I've also decided to turn down the invitation of the FA. Uh, 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 you see, almost some more, almost house style coach, and see, and a you know, one more pet, Sebia, supporters, journalists, more better, but a team, no, a distraction. That's it, yeah, just some more, more house style, we respect it so much. Request in the shaft, yeah, quite a bright, it's almost back to Martin. I'm not catching it, I'm more air, yeah, I'm on your mat behind closed door. You respected it, you could do competition, nothing. If you send an anonymous here, you could do any other request in my mouth. Again, it was turned down. Do we respect their house style? Now, if the NGD say, currently, our house style is better. In a personal position, I said that it's a better competition. We are here, but we are here. 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 Because we are here. We are here. But the black style could always be there. And it would be for the people of Ghana. The coach say, we are all team and we man can and say, this is the property of Ghana, and they need to get closer to it. And so that China, this is not the first time we've been turned down. And uh, over the years, since uh, Afcon 2019, getting access to the Black Stars has become very difficult for the journalists. And yet, cast any people mandate to press conferences, man. Yeah, man, they say we have access. Wow. Wow. And, yeah. Indeed. 
I said, why a bitter now? We are very bitter. Very, very bitter. Now, anyone to cry, anyone to cry, call Kata, anyone call Cameroon, anyone call Abidjan. You see that they are competition. Ah, Ghana Football Association, now your marriage, don't be bitter there. It's a drop for more than him, what is it? Now, send them more to Competition now, you can Black Star, something you can The managers of Black Star. Eh, yeah, the Ghana Football Association. Odisha ba mpacho mwedia mamimchawano kakra. Enu so oh Exactly. Exactly. You see, Black Stars Hotel no. There are many journalists from Mukawa here tell me on my way. You don't want to hear. Oh, now we turn now to that. Tio, Tio. Tio, I say you need to be accredited before you are able to come to the hotel. You were accredited. I was accredited. I feel crazy. You say you must have had an appointment. Say, be a uno be could did you maybe? Exactly. And you know, I am more money, more money. A woman, and I'm not on call. I'm sorry, I'm going to Black Star Team Hotel just to distract them. I'm not even going to follow them. I'm going to Black Star Team. I know. Uh, trouble it means your a general thing where the press can come and interact and go and tell Ghanaians and look your players no more. Huh? In the sense, yeah, we feel more Ghanaian than being a journalist. We are Ghanaians before becoming journalists. But I am one of those who are in the good books of the FP. We're always going there. I best we turn away. There are a number of people I can mention. Security are now general you know, I security better. Over here, Madam. Oh, I'm very secret in the bear, Oh, I bet I'm listening over here, Madame. For no, I'm going to ask you. Yes, I'm You get it. I mean, I'm accredited. Didn't you know? Yes, sir, Henry, it's a man in call. He shouldn't go there. Yes, sir, it is. Can you also clarify this for me, Minyata? Was there an instance after the Ghana Kivet Gamer? Ghana, Ghana lost that game, right? Ghana yes, lose, you know. Mu demand is some multi players in the penny phone. I can see you think I said there be. You know, see, Nana, the dear friends, as far as I am concerned, the other high end is a crisis in the post match press conference in the year. Also, I can understand journalists tried following him to get access to the changing room and they were stuck by the cap security. And in fact, we were happy because in Central for in this way, you are not allowed there. So, we did a call press conference. I mean, you have a mix zone. And at the mix zone, a lot of the players stop by. A lot of them, because it is mandated by CAP that there is a mix zone. As to whether the person wants to talk or not, I know they are no other But uh, some of our colleagues try following the future. Now, you see, in Central Forum, so, so, in the aftermath of the disappointment, the final yeah. game that Ghana relinquish those two goals and drew against Mozambique. Muda Subambia Diana in the history of Ghana football at tournaments. It being said that journalists, ADD players, any coaches at them. You think it was right the journalists conducted it, themselves in it that wasn't manner? Right. In fact, if you watch the videos that circulated, a lot of us rushed to that specific person as I saw a kind of ensemble, telling him that the only only guy. It was one person. But collectively we are responsible, so we will take responsibility for journalists. So as to buy na e dan e dilo, na na da kwa, me nye si buy papa. Ne mum, si e si wa, de de a mum mu sen de wo mix zone holo. E nye se na ye buo kou se ya fed lak sa, and that's how man qualified. We know they are not good enough. Ne mum, kap manage se, you let the players walk through the mix zone, no ma kwa kwa si mba. Ne kou du hona ye ken e ten si min si ye lo. Di yun ye an se lak sa al bas lo, a kou di na dressing room gate na noa, players na e son bas lo. No, I'm not going to So they have smuggled, they were smuggling them away. And they just are cap. Yet, 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 they, we demonstrated to the cap. So, the was there an system. instance where, you know, the cap person who was leading the team was questioning your professionalism and your conduct as Ghanaian journalists? It never happened because they asked us, why are we agitating? And they make a choice. Look, why are they smuggling the players into the back and avoiding the mid zone? I didn't know more avoiding mid zone interviews. They are supposed to come there. Udru on our own casa, we are in Sydney already. But the idea that 
we will come and stand there for 30 minutes. Now the bus, I could see the VIA in the face to smuggle black stars and take them away without them going through the procedure as it is known. It is not right. And you think the perfect response is to boycott this all important meet the press in Kumasi? I feel it's the right thing to do. Because I am in Penny Food in Komono. Swag were not giving a head up. Swag Asante. You mean swag, swag were not informed before, before a public FA announcement FA. by the FA? Absolutely. Yes, please. Did this sign? Amu we are not on my own time. They are also on mobile. Then they call swag and later ask swag say, "I'm person money media in Kumasi ever match after the media engagement." Okay, so I'm reading. I'm reading a post of yours at on X that reads, "The GFA contacted." Swag Ashanti for a friendly match after the presser. Swag Ashanti turned down, citing short notice. Now the GFA has decided to play Kumasi Media after the presser. You know what they plan to do when it happens like this? Sorry, but it don't work. What is now? Message you are such a saying. Oh my, Swag is your mum bobo on media. And the Kako catch Swag and Swag is your mum monty. Wow. But at um, but yo, wait, yeah. I'm, I'm also told that top journalists like Mr. Tue Champon, A.K. Sam Timer, yourself, Brian Kambuedu, Joe Laka, Ken Eben, all of you are absent. And you are the voices of sports radio in Kumasi and Ghana at large. When you said it will be some kind of disappointment for your listeners, any viewers say, Man, Konka, Kamasi, Man, Moumu. We have the platform. The FA has the information. We will never deny them access to our platform. But to hurriedly arrange a press conference like this, it's neither here nor there. And this they should have respected us more. After the SEO could add the journal, come over here, no more catching. When do you think we can do this? When do you think we can do this? When do you think we can do this? They have their motive, uh, but they may deal with. And it's quite clear that we are not really their target. Their platform turn of India. Wow. But how has been the general feeling of the people in Kumase to this meet the press, beyond the journalists? Look, listen, I for the past two days. Look, we are People are not happy with the way Black Party is being run. There is a general descent towards our national team. Okay, so now to me, take one before I better ma who must be gone and blow all black stars to the man for a bar. When I see the name, so no one can papa. In the end, if I can create the name, I'm on Kasa. I'm on Kona, I'm on Kasa in China. Oh no, they should avail themselves to Ghana. I'm on Pachewa, no more to show my national. My Ghana for home. This is the second tournament running. I will see a Pachewa star. I'm not mad at Pachewa. I mean, come on. Another question is possible. It can happen. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah, the basic. Nah. But why are you making some work of our? Oh, but you're dead. But you're Ah, well. And it's a money you. Ah, yeah, 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 the success of the national team. 
<laughs> Bro, Charlie, always good to talk to you. Nyami shall we bring? Always, always, always. So that's the thing, yeah. All right. Okay. I just say, I say, if you are a person, you are a person. A press and I started now. You have a corner, you have a question, 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 you have we did. I'm going to do by them kind of message. My man came. Also, Nana, did you see Sheikh Tofik freely mixing with the Nigerians at the same pool, man? Where even Ghanaian journalists giving the same kind of open access to the black stars, the journalists should just boycott the presser. Oh, I'm going to. Now, your first journalist was here by church from Ghana football in the same house. They should boycott the presser. Wow. Actually, hmm. And here is you. All right, Joseph, I'm going to say, Nana, do. Yes. Predictions for the Nigeria, South Africa, and then the Cote d'Ivoire DRC. We are predicting Nigeria, Cote d'Ivoire for the finals. I don't know what you think. Mm, nana, morning. Uh, morning, Odisha. Uh, right. Nana, maybe I'm doing it. I'm tired. 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 i all these teams would actually want to make it to the finals and at least nana try and add one more what trophy to the what they've won already because mm. osha nigerians know would would be glad if they can equal ghana's record of four the ivorians will also be hoping say at least somebody say we need back wide i can no more three in the baby you know nana obia person on your day when we need and it's it's quite obvious. Now, now let me start off with the Nigeria. Olaje ba obi ti ba choko kakra. So, yeru. So na no abanzo no. Yeru akaza ni mo wa no ho me. Wala se. Yeru aketi mo kreku kasa. Inti ye be se ye ba ko faket ni nsem na o de e ba na because enu ti ne ti a. Why o de che ba nti e be san ba fie. Why? At our very, very maiden meeting, if I remember, one of the foremost decisions we took as new leaders of our FA is to reintroduce the Meet the Press series. That was also introduced during our first term 
as one of our key media engaging strategies. Of course, that platform or this platform is to offer a key partner, that is the media, the chance to ask questions and for us also to tell our story about the journey we embark on on the 5th of October in Tamale. This press engagement here today will not be the first and will not be the last time the ESCO that you are so much supportive of will be meeting the media. This key strategy will be replicated in as many regions as possible in course of our tenure as leaders or as servants of football. Indeed, soon after the elections, we would have loved to have met the media to speak about our new ideas, our new plans, and our strategies towards the development of football. Unfortunately, other but very important assignments took all of us away. The last one being the big tournament that is currently happening in nearby La Côte d'Ivoire. Ghana was represented by our beloved Black Stars. The happenings during the tournament has not been what we as Ghanaians would have loved to see. As servants of football, we've never been happy about how our team, our beloved Black Stars, performed. As an FA, we provided and ensured that the team had all the logistics that they needed to enable them to perform. What did we see of the team? The performance of our beloved Black Stars fell below our expectations. Whether they did okay or not, all of us here, from the ESCO to each one of you, saw the performance of the team either on your screens or at the various stadia that the team played. Clearly, what we saw of the team was not what we expected of the team. That target of envy has eluded Ghana for 40 plus years. And as servants of football, our dream, our hope, our desire is to bring that target of envy back to Ghana. It didn't work out. The period between our last game against Mozambique and today have been a reflective period for us. A time for us to think through decisions that were taken with our management decisions, technical decisions, any decision that had been taken. It was a period, or it has been a period for us to reflect on our work as a team, 
to reflect on what policies can help us to bring back the love for our sport. It has been a reflective period that has allowed us again the chance as servants of football to be very, very decisive and to take far-reaching decisions that will strategically impact positively on the game that is beyond a game. Football is the sport that unites our country, Ghana. It is a sport that has brought me and you together. It is a sport that brings people with very, very different religious and political beliefs together. Indeed, during the short campaign in Abidjan, I had a chance to welcome politicians from all sides of the political divide. During that period, our dear country stood still. We stopped all that we wanted to do to watch our black stars. This is football. The desire of your FA is to deliver football to the best of our ability to entertain our people, to bring glory to our motherland, and to bring hope to the youth of our dear country. For which reason, this reflective period has offered me and you the chance to rethink, to re-strategize, and to stay strong as a family in our single determination to fix football. Fixing the support of all our publics. That is the only way we can fix our football. The FA is very, very much committed to us bringing back our lost glory. Bringing back the passion of our people and bringing back the love for our beloved sport called football. But this can only happen if all our publics stand shoulder to shoulder with us in good times and in bad times. In bad times, we have to be ready and we are ready to listen to the other mind. We have to allow people to speak out and to offer to us the needed support we need as servants of our game. The ESCO, the Council, will not depart from this commitment to work day and night in our attempt to fix or fixing our football. So we saw our black stars in Abidjan. This is not the black stars that you want to see. And this is not the black stars I want to see. I want to see our black stars and all our national teams and all our league clubs play good football and win games. But how can this be done? How can we 
daily deliveries. Of course, the process includes what we are going through today to allow our publics to engage and to share ideas on how we feel and how we think and to ensure that we are ready to bring on board new ideas, new strategies that will enable us to bring back the love for football. We are very clear as servants of the game that the only way to achieve our dreams is to continue, first of all, being honest to ourselves and to our publics and to continue in the way that we have already started by investing from the very basics of our game to the top level of our game. If we want our black queens to be successful, if we want our princesses to be successful, if we want our futsal football to be successful, if we want our black stylists to be successful, the journey starts from the very foundation of football. And that is why, over time, we have brought back coast football to lovers of coats in this country. When I go through the streets of Ghana sometimes, and I hear people speak about, ah, coast football, no way. They are more coach football, boom. Then it tells me that I'm not communicating well enough to our publics. Currently, coach football is being played in all our 10 football regions. In every region of this country, coach football is being played. Because we are media fellows and we love data, let me take you through the number of coach clubs we have in each of our 10 football regions. In the Ashanti region, we have 194 active coast clubs. The figures I'll mention here today are the active coast football clubs. In the Brown Half region, we have 178 coast clubs. In the Central region, 120. Eastern, 165. The Greater Accra region, 327 northern region which is led by Aladi abu alasan 185 coast clubs upper east 84 upper west 14 volta region 156 and western region 298 Coast football is being played in every region. Through our partnership with KGL, the FA will continue to support coast football in the regions with the provision of trophies and medals for all our leagues in the country. Indeed, just last week, our RFAs received the allocations for this year. The FA has invested 100,000 US dollars into the purchase of footballs for our coast clubs. Our strategy to invest more into not only footballs, but cones, Beeps and other accessories for our coast clubs will continue as we journey along. Indeed, to support the work of our RFAs, we introduced a yearly subvention of 120,000 Ghana cities each 
to attend RFAs to support their work. This work also affects cold football. And in the next few weeks, we will also continue investing in our RFAs with the purchase and supply, obviously, of 10 pickups to support their work. Again, to ensure that our national teams continue to perform, whether from the U15 level to the A national team level, we need to continue our investment into grassroots football. I have just spoken about coast football. We will continue to invest in the second division, in the third division, and in the women division one leagues, as we have already started. Last week, our purchase of a hundred thousand US dollars worth of footballs arrived, the balls arrived, and they have been distributed to all the ten regions. This is investment in grassroots football. The result of this investment will soon reflect in performances, whether at the club level or at the national level. In girls' football, we have continued to make the right levels of investment. In the next few days, we will roll out a policy that will clearly define the career pathways of a female footballer. As you speak, if a young girl wakes up in the morning and she wants to play football, there's no coach football for girls. They have to find their way, whether they are 12 years, they are 10 years, into Division One League football. This is not possible. So in the next few days, a clear pathway for our girls will also be made public. Indeed, in the months of May, June, and July, we will be staging the girls U15 tournament to offer other opportunities for our younger girls to also realize their dream of playing football. As we speak, the Black Queens have qualified for the AFCON. The Princesses have qualified to participate in the U20 Girls World Cup. These are good milestones for Ghana and we'll continue to offer them all the support they need to be able to excel. I'm, I've been talking about women's football and you all agree with me that the female sport is on the rise. And it is on the rise because we have been very careful in our implementation of the women's football strategy. If you remember, we adored this strategy last year, and the Tenkar Directorate have been at the forefront of the full implementation of the women's strategy. The result is what we see by way of performances, and we will continue to implement the women football strategy to the last line. We also know of our adoption of our DNA. The Tenka Directorate have already started the implementation of the DNA. Professor Minta, it's, it's here. I think he will, he will attest to this fact. In the next few days, we shall be launching the men's football strategy, which is also ready. This is a four-year plan for the development of 
men's football. So clearly, thank you, clearly it should tell you that we are in the right way. We launched the four-year plan for women, which is a women's football strategy, and now we have the four-year plan for the development of the men's strategy. For three consecutive seasons, we have successfully, without any interruption, run our football season. Without any interruption. They have started on our agreed dates and completed on the expected dates. For three consecutive seasons. Our GPL, I'm talking about our GPL, our DOL, and our Women's Premier League. We will continue to look for more investments in these top three leagues. And part of our strategy to look for new investments and to also retain our existing partners has led us into the establishment of a new desk that will support our sponsorship and our revenue generation drive. Here, I am talking about the introduction of the business development desk to support the work of the marketing directorate. The agenda is to look for more businesses for the GPL, for the DOL, and for the Women's Premier League. Plus, to ensure that we retain the existing partners that we already have. These are the pragmatic steps or strategic steps your FA has taken to ensure that there's more investment in the domestic league that will lead to improvement in performances, more quality players being produced, and obviously better players being picked for our national team engagements. The FA also identified a big problem with our clubs the lack of decent transportation for our clubs. And I'm very sure that you do remember our promise to invest in 30 buses for our clubs. This strategy is underway. At the end of this current football season, the 12 promised buses representing the first tranche will be ready for our clubs to pick up. So the idea is to strategically invest in the purchase of 30 buses for our clubs. These buses will be used by clubs in the WPL, DOL, and the GPL. I am very happy that in the last few days, the former president of our country, His Excellency John Dramani, was it? John Mama, made mention of, of his desire to encourage our domestic players to stay a lot longer and to fight for recognition in the A national teams. The policies we have rolled out is a testament of our belief that when we do the right levels of investment, our leagues will grow. And when our leagues grow, our players will be happier. And when they are happy, they will stay in a lot longer. In our desire to make this happen, we have made proposals to government for strategic interventions that will enable our players to get more money, to stay longer, and to be recognized by the selectors of our national teams in their attempt to build strong national teams. It is our belief that government will support our call, will support our push, and when this happens, we'll come back to the media with a full strategic direction on those interventions.
Let me come back to national teams again. Again, if our black stars will be strong, it must start from the grassroots, just like I have mentioned. It must start not only with the investments that we are talking about, or that we have spoken about, but also the career pathways for the players. When we speak about national teams, we want to talk about talent identification. How have we identified talents that will play at the U15 level, U20 level, and up to the Black Stars level? We realized that there was a need for a big shift at the way talents are identified. As we speak, working closely with FIFA, we have established a talent identification program that is funded by FIFA. The first pilot was staged in Accra. The second pilot will be happening in this region. And kids who are picked from this pilot will end up in our newly established GFA Elite Football Academies, the first of which was established in the Upper East. The foremost GFA Elite Football Academy, which will give kids who have been carefully selected and who will be trained according to our DNA, the opportunity to become national heroes. We have invested in our first academy in the Upper East. In the next few weeks, the second pilot will be happening in the Santee region here. The third will happen in the South. Most importantly, the end vision of your FA is to establish this GFA-owned elite academies in each of the 10 football regions in this country. Just start to picture what is going to happen. The kids are going to be identified early. They are going to go to school, offered football tuition with well-trained instructors backed by FIFA. Just imagine over a three-year period how many super talents the FA is going to produce across the 10 football regions. Their impact on individual clubs their impact on national teams. Your guess will be as good as mine. What is good is that the FA is very, very committed towards this venture. To confirm our determination, the FA has employed one of the most experienced ex-footballers, one of the most educated ex-footballers, and in recent times, the ex-captain of Midema, the CEO of Midema, Tetezuta, as the general manager for the FA Elite Academies. <laughs> Again, to help us identify talents at the right ages, at the right time, the Tenka Directorate has identified five scouts in each of our ten regions. These five scouts have been trained by the Tenka Directorate and they have been scouting players for our U15 and our U20 national teams. The first batch of talents that were scouted by these scouts, trained by the Tenka Directorate, were the players that represented Ghana in the international friendly tournament in Serbia. The Twinkle Twinkle Little Stars that were led by. Um, Lie Kingston. So you can see clearly, my colleagues, that we have gone, we have, we have stopped or we have changed the way we scout for our national teams. Now the players are scouted early through the talent identification program. They will be enlisted into the boarding schools. The top ones will find themselves into the national teams plus the same scouts going into the schools, going into the districts 
to scout for the super talents for our national U15 and U17 national teams. Over time, we are going to deploy same scouts to also perform same responsibility for our domestic national team, which is the Black Galaxies. Gradually, we are making progress. These steps need patience. These steps need time. During this period, we'll have good times. During the same period, we'll have bad times. But when indeed we do have bad times, we need to remember and to ask ourselves whether we are in the right way or not. Whether we are taking the right steps or not. In my opinion, the answer is yes. Given that all of us have met here today, we are taking the right steps step by step. But believe me, glories don't come overnight. It needs patience. It needs patience. And you need the support of everybody. Coach education and refereeing are two very, very important need areas in our football ecosystem. I remember in the Congress in Kumasi, we spoke about our committed investment in these two need areas refereeing and coach education. Professor Mita is here. He led the coach education campaign. And well over 3,000 Ghanaians have either license D up to license B. Is that correct? Prior to this period, the last time we had the chance to train our coaches was way back in 2016, 2017. So you could see clearly that we had a big gap. And it will only take continuous investment in coaching to bring the level of coaching to the times of E.K. Afanis, Osam Dodos, and the rest of the big boys who have departed this world. Again, we took seven of our coaches who work in the women's sport to attachments in Europe, in Holland, and in, in, in Germany. We will continue in investing in our coaches. Indeed, we have also selected, we have carefully selected 16 of our elite coaches who would, and indeed have already started specialized training to ensure that we improve on their capacity. Now, when we give them knowledge, they bring the knowledge to the, our domestic leagues. Our domestic leagues would improve, our national teams would improve. Refereeing, like we all know, has been a big challenge. It has been a big challenge. We introduced the Cardemion refereeing policy. As you speak now, over 2,000 young boys and girls have been trained. Some of these promising talents will find themselves into Division One games and in the Premier League games next season. Indeed, our first five professional referees will come from the scheme beginning of the next football season. <laughs> Funding of the FA and FA related activities has been a challenging one. The FA has received support from FIFA, like we all know, and like we've always declared at Congress, the FA has received support from CAF, and the FA, through our own means, via the marketing department, have also sourced for partnerships, 
from corporate Ghana. At all times, we have rendered accounts of our stewardship to our football family at our annual congress. The FA's accounts are regularly audited by a reputable auditing firm in under and under. Is that correct? Bikateli, under and under. Every fund that we have received from FIFA are controlled by FIFA and are audited in our own ways by FIFA. In fact, if you do receive one dollar and you don't properly account for it, you will not receive the next dollar. Currently, we are undergoing what we call the FIFA Central Review, which is the auditing by FIFA. Since we took office, the FA has never failed in any of the FIFA Central Review. We should be happy about this. Infrastructure has always been a problem. It is a problem. It is a challenge to us as a football family. It is also a challenge to the National Sports Authority as the body that are responsible for the maintenance of our football infrastructure. Currently, we all know the situation in which we find ourselves. On our part, we will continue to make our investments as much as we can into football. We know about our investment in the construction of the first FIFA AstroTurf in the Upper East region. That cost the FA 742,000 US dollars. Currently, every Division II league game, every women Division I league game, and all juvenile football are honored on that AstroTurf in Upper East. We have our property in Pram Pram. We have awarded the contract for the, is it the construction or erection of the floodlights. On the astroturf that we have, the construction of the floodlights will start in the next few days. That is being funded by FIFA. And that will allow our coaches and our players to also train in the evenings. It will also give opportunities to our clubs who compete in Africa, especially those who have their games being played in the evenings, the chance also to go to Pram Pram and to fully access the facility. We are continuing our investment in the construction of the bed power pitch. When that is completed, we will make it available to our league clubs to play their league games in Pram Pram. As we speak, there are no league centers in Greater Accra. And we are very much committed towards fixing this problem. And soon, that facility will be ready for usage by our clubs who play in the Premier League and in the Division One League. We also have the clearance to invest in a 40-bed accommodation in Pram Pram. Construction will start soon. It would also include a modern-day gymnasium, a swimming pool, and a medical center to service our footballers and our athletes who use our Pram Pram Technical Center. Indeed, the entire land space will be fenced very, very soon. Work is going to start very, very soon. And I mean this year. We have also taken a decision. We are still investing in the game for the construction of two natural first-class grass pitches at the Tenka Center in Pram Pram. This work will start in August and it will add up to the existing pitch infrastructure that we have in Pram Pram. 
I've already spoken about the better topics. As part of our desire also to fix the problems that we have identified, we also acknowledge that we have communication challenges. And one of the steps to fix those challenges is the platform we have here today. But beyond that, we have tasked our RFAs to start fixing the problems from their end by communicating more with their publics and by fully utilizing the relatively cheap communication mediums or channels that we have, i.e. social media. At the club level, we also have challenges. And the communications department, working with the com com communications department, are working closely with our clubs in the GPL, the WPL, and the DOL to also open up a lot more to our media friends to access information. At the national level, we will enhance the work and the skill sets that we have at the communications department. You will soon see some major changes. So, we are here talking about Ghana football. We've spoken about coast football. We've spoken about girls football. We've spoken about beach soccer futsal. We've spoken about the development and investment needs of our top tier leagues. We've spoken about the need for investment in infrastructure, the introduction of our bar strategy, etc., etc. That should tell all of us here that the reflective period has taught us big lessons. We have engaged a lot and we accept where we have been wrong. The notes that have espoused here speaks to this fact. The reflective period has also emboldened us to take very, very decisive decisions. That would ensure, to quote the words of the Speaker of Parliament, the Black Stars and our national teams must rise from the ashes of setbacks. And we are very committed towards this. What we have said here is a testament of our commitment towards fixing the problems. I know all of us love our Black Stars. And our Black Stars players do love all of us. And all of us are committed towards fixing the problems with the Black Stars. Indeed, that journey has already started with a search for a new trainer for our Black Stars. When we find the new trainer, it is our collective decision and determination to stay for a long haul with a new set of trainers for our Black Stars and for all our national teams. I know and we know that all of us, including King Eben, want our black queens to win, our princesses to win, our maidens to win, our starlets to win, our damsels to win. How to win is what we have espoused here. Investment, 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 and keeping the way and taking decisive decisions. We love our black stars, we love our black queens, we love our football. We want our football to rise from the ashes. We want to enjoy our leagues. It's the reason why we are calling on all stakeholders all underlined the government the government the government the media our clubs our clubs 
to join hands on this journey. We, as servants, cannot do this alone. We need you, and we need you more than you ever think. If we kill our players when things go bad, we are likely not to find the players. That is why I've always said that in good times and in bad times, let's stay with our players. And let's leave those decisive but important decisions to the Tenkar team to take. We can build this football industry with your support. Samujra Yechia, Namujra Yenchaya, Namujra Namuso Yemua, we can do it. I know and we know this will take time. But because we love our football, sometimes we want the results now and now. It will come. It will come. With your support. I thank you so much, Vice President, colleagues. We are ready to listen to you. We want you to ask all the questions you may have on your chest. Please don't leave any on your chest. We have the time to listen. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, President Ket Edwin Simeon of So, colleagues, the council is now ready for your question. I will pass the microphone on. You raise your hand, you mention your name, and then you can ask your question. Thank you. Ketla, please, I need you here. So I think I'll set the ball rolling with the first question. Um, this is to the entire council. There is a perceived notion out there that the FA, the current regime, is anti-media. Okay, my name is uh, Nathaniel Eche. I'm a freelancer currently. And there is a perceived notion out there that the current regime is anti-media. And that is mainly based on the fact that especially the black stars are always getting away from the media. I would want the council to take this opportunity to address that, if indeed that is the case. If it's not the case, why is that perceived notion out there? All right. Um, my name is William Evans Sinkum from Media General. My question has to do with the budget. The budget. We understand some $8.5 million was raised for the Afghan campaign. And I mean, some of your critics have even had the cause to compare the Ghanaian budget to that of. Uh, Nigeria, which we understand was $1.3 million. Namibia, we understand, was some $1.1 million. I stand corrected. Why the bloating $8.5 million? And of course, I also want to follow up with this. The ranking member on the Foreign Affairs Committee, Okujetu Ablakwa, who has been releasing series of files and what have you, has also suggested that he and together with other colleagues of his 
will file a motion to probe the $8.5 million budget and all of that. So I just want to get your reaction on these developments. My name is Michael Asari Bode, Sumpa TV, Sumpa FM. Uh, President, there was a scrimmage in Ivory Coast in the aftermath of Ghana versus Mozambique involving journalists. It eventually led to a tirade where some journalists verbally abused the coach and some of the players. I want to know your take on that. And the second one goes to Madam Gifty. Uh, what is the current situation on the bonuses that have not been paid as regards the Black Queens and the black princesses because it looks like it's a dragging issue and why is it that when it has to do with their bonuses it normally delays and it's not paid swiftly as compared to the black stars thank you thank you very much my name is Eugene Kwame and I'm from Open Soul Radio please I'd like to know from the committee that uh, after the election, there was a coach, uh, Coach Akosiopia, being elected onto the Executive Council. A committee was formed to select or choose a coach for the senior national team, but he was excluded. So I want to know the reason behind his exclusion from the committee. Thank you. Mohamed Said. Please, I want to ask that why is the GFA sometimes hide some key appointment of the FA from the media? For instance, when Bernard Lepert leave, we did not saw any statement about Bernard Lepert leaving Ghana Football Association. Thank you. Okay, so so I would invite um, lawyer Prosper, Prosper Ado to take the question relating to the media. Vice President Mark will speak about budget. Um, of course, I will have to react because that question was directly to me on behavior of journalists. Gifty will speak about bonuses. Um, Kusiapia will speak about Kusiapia. <laughs> No, 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 I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I mean, uh, the GS will react to that, and he will also react to the last one, which, which has to do with the non announcement or otherwise of the departure of Bernard Lepe. Let me take the last one, uh, Bernard Lepet. Um, if you check with the GFA website, you will know that the story was posted. We can all check. Please uh, just Google, you will see the story. It is there. We publish that uh, he has finished his tenure with us and listed some of the achievements that were chalk during his stay as the technical director of the Ghana Football Association. So it was published. Thank you. Now on media, the FAB being uh, media friendly or not, um, this FA has been more media friendly than ever. Myself, a media person, the president, a media person. In fact, there are more media persons on the school today than ever. Your, your own colleague, uh, Honorable Achi, a media person. If you look at uh, the work we do, from the GPL, the WPL, the DOL, you will notice that we brought the concept of the venue media officers who work daily with us so there are more media people working with the fa now again engagements with the media we've had the engagement with swag 
We've had engage, engagements here. We've had trainings um, here. Now, to zero in on the Black Stars. When we go to tournaments, there are rules. You take the World Cup, there are rules that when you break, we pay fines. So when the guidelines are given to us, we will guide our media accordingly. As we progress, we can have a media day where we can host our media. So it is not true that we do not engage when the national teams are playing. The thing is that we have to organize it within the rules of the competition. Now, the, for instance, some of you, I said some, not all, may not know. But when you go to a, a World Cup, the entire place where the blasters, the national team will lodge, is assigned by FIFA. We cannot do anything about it. The entire bu building and the street in front of the building belongs to FIFA. If you allow certain things, the fines will be on us. The same for training. When they give the time for the media to cover maybe 15 minutes, the first part of the training, and go. And they say you should not. Even for the association, there are things we cannot post at the um, tournament. When we post, there will be sanctions. So filming training, there are rules. And then also, and more importantly, the FA would have to create the environment conducive for the coach and his players. So when the coach asks the FA that we will do things a certain way, we have to make sure that they have exactly the plan they want. That is the help we can give to the team to deliver for us. So some of the areas will leave to the technical team to decide. I know as a journalist, sometimes it's difficult, but that is the help the FA can give to the team. We'll continue to engage with the coaches so that they also see the need to also allow, but you, you can also, we have to also allow them to shape the team the way they want. You will notice that in our training, these days in the coaching licensing, there is media training for the coaches so that they appreciate more the relationship between teams and the media. So we'll continue to improve on that. Now to our ESCO member, Coach uh, Kwesiapia. The committee working to select the coach, when they finish, will submit their report to the ESCO, of which Mr. Kwesiapia is part of. You would notice his current situation is said that we cannot appoint him to be on the forefront in terms of the committee, but he will definitely be part of the deliberations and the decision making as an ESCO member, because per our regulation, it is the ESCO that makes the decision. And if you look at the publication, the publication said the committee will submit their report to the ESCO before a decision is taken. If you look at the story again, you see the, the engagement lines. Committee does its work. There's engagement with a key stakeholder as government, and then the ESCO takes a decision. So in that decision making, all the deliberations, our uh, dear coach will be involved. Thank you very much. I've addressed the question. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, as regarding the budget, I know this has been a, a topical point in the media and also I think there's always been a lot of misconception about how budgets are prepared uh, for the national teams okay so we have let me let me go through some of the process 
and then I'll address the question in that context. Usually the budgets are prepared at the FA. So these are indicative. So, you know, based on historical reference, for example, in this scenario when the Black Stars uh, were preparing to go to the tournament, some of the key variables that goes in the preparation will be buying tickets for the players from most of the players are coming offshore. So when the coach indicated earlier that the tournament, uh, the training tour will be in uh, Johannesburg, the, you make the assumptions that all the players will be flying. Some will fly to Ghana because they were in break, and then you buy them tickets from Ghana to Johannesburg. Some will fly maybe directly from their, uh, where they are based to Johannesburg. So in that scenario, that is part of the major cost. And then you also have to factor in that if they were flying from Johannesburg to the tournament, that would also be a chartered flight. Chartered flights are very expensive um, for that matter. And then you factor in uh, the, where they'll be based in terms of the hotel, transportation, feeding, the medical logistics, uh, everything that bonuses. And bonuses are the biggest part of the whole budget, about 70% of the budget, mainly bonuses. So that is only one component of the budget that is being built. And then you build on, after they fly to uh, Abidjan, um, the fifth uh, uh, calf covers a portion of, of the stay. I think it's about 40, 40, but beyond 40. And you know, the contingent is about 70, relatively about 70 in all. Um, so that additional numbers also have to be covered in terms of their stay, their feeding, uh, transportation, it all has to be covered as well. And then it's, you build on a model as, um, on the basis that the game one, game two, game three, they are set, they are bonus components that comes with, with the qualification. When they qualify, this is how much they make. Then you also build an assumption. You build as if you are going there to win the tournament. So it, everything is built on the, on the assumption that after the qualification, your next round 16, 18 quarter quarterfinal semifinals and final this is presented because you don't want to be in a situation when you are in the middle of competition and you are calling a, uh, a minister of uh, sports to say wait a minute we didn't plan so it's better to be totally prepared in that scenario so that's how, that is how it's done you build from uh, a, a ground zero all the way to the top and that's what we've done it's all indicative of what we think was going to happen and what when, when the FA is done they, they scrutinize it with the, um, with the, they sit down with the ministry, scrutinize it, and when it's completed, we present it to them. Okay. So that is, the, that is our job. Once that is done, as to the actual money which gets approved, as to the actual amount that is actually spent, um, the FA has no um, input in that. The FA, the FA does not receive any money from the uh, from the ministry as to specifically uh, to spend on any item. As a matter of fact, the ministry has um, an accountant, a pass holder, who is embedded in the team. So for every particular expenditure, they, they go to this accountant, and he will also check on the budget. This is there. This is not there. This is there. So the perception that uh, the ministry has spent 8.5 million. I mean, that's a perception. The actual money they spent, honestly, I don't think anybody in the FA knew because we didn't advance from our group stage. So I think it is very important to understand that from the FA perspective, once we prepare what we think is going to happen end to end and present it to the, uh, to the ministry, the onerous is on the ministry as to how and where what is approved, we have no idea. Okay, so let's separate the two. And then the ministry have somebody embedded in the contingent. For, for example, they will say, oh, we need to go and buy some spices. They have to go and justify that to the purse holder. He will look, okay, this is approved. 
So everything is by the line item based on the budget that is prepared. Now, I also want to uh, debunk another misconception. You know, it's so sad sometimes people get on the, um, on the media space and that start throwing numbers around. Nobody can tell me that Nigeria spent only 1.2, 1.5. It is fake news, I'm telling you, we know. It is fake. We communicate with them all the time. All the numbers that they are throwing about, they can say you can grow, and, and they make it seem like it is so justifiable. You know, sadly, we sometimes kill our own selves by virtue of, you know, releasing information, derogatory information, which necessarily may not necessarily be, be the right information. And it is important that you go to the source, into the ministry, and, and then they can tell you how much money they spent. For example, we didn't go to uh, Joburg for the tournament. Does it mean that the money was spent? Obviously not. That money was not spent. You know, so we just have to be more circumspective about how we go about, you know, portraying ourselves. Because in the end of the day, we are just sending the bad, uh, negative press on our own product that we are trying to promote. From the FA perspective, every game that we go, we play, every tournament that we go, we go through a thorough process, putting the, all these and the numbers together, and we present to the ministry. And it's the ministry's responsibility to get the, seek the approval and to see uh, also decide what to spend on and what not to spend on. I think that's what I, I've given the information about that. Thank you. And both black queens and princesses have not received some bonuses. But then after meetings with the ministry, the ministry has promised that for black queens, before we go for our match with Zambia, we are going to receive all our bonuses. And for princesses, they have an all-African games to go for. And then they will receive all bonuses before that. So very soon, all bonuses will be paid. And none will be old again. I would have to still let the ministry answer that. Because the payments are done by the ministry, not by the FA. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Dr. Um, Gifty or Remenson. So we will take the next batch of questions. Um, okay, they are here. I don't know. I don't know whether I remember. The, I don't know whether I remember the question clearly, but um, I think it had to do with how my my colleagues reacted to the bad performance of the stars. So I'll start by saying that I share in the pain of every Ghanaian on the on the bad performance of of our black stars i also share in the pain specifically of our colleague journalists who were disappointed about the fact that their lifespan in abidjan was cut short because the black stars had to come home but I do not share in the act of booing our players. As a journalist, I have been trained to support and to report on my national team.
I pray and hope that that singular act will never be repeated. Because that singular act has resulted in CAF having a second look at fines when people misbehave. And they are looking at fining Ghana for that singular act by my media brothers and sisters. It's not a bad one. And like I said here, the period between the time of our exit and today has been a time for reflection by the FA and by all of us, my media colleagues inclusive. If we behave well, we know. If we can do better, we know. So let us all take and embrace this opportunity to reflect on the most recent happenings and just make sure that we don't put Ghana in a bad light during such big meets. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, the next batch of... Uh, yes, thank you very much. My name is Thomas Pesoro, the GBC. Uh, my question is, uh, when you went to Abuja and the performance was bad, I want to find out who takes that responsibility. Is it the players, is it FA, or is who? Is it the coach? Because I learned the coach was immediately sacked. So why is it that FA, you have not dissolved your team as an FA? Because if you take that responsibility, it depends on how you answer that question. If it is you, FA, who should take that responsibility, then why are you still in office? There's a lot of noise here, please. If you come down from here, you are here. If you come down from my question is to the president. Uh, Mr. President, since you are Zoom office, your last three tournaments with the Black Stars have been something else, not what we are expecting, as you rightly said. Uh, my question is, they, they say that when we keep repeating the same thing, we end up achieving the same results. So why we do that 2019 after Afcon Cameroon? We came back and sacked our coach. 2022 World Cup, we came back home and sacked our coach. And recently, we have sacked our coach. Are we sure the problem is always the coach? And lastly, as a president, what is your topmost legacy you want to leave with the blasters since this is your second term? Thank you. Good, good, good morning, House. My name is Raphael, a freelancer, and I work with New Mercury FM in Um To the ESCO members, last time we went to Cameroon, and when we were The technical team as well as the team manager were all sacked. We've moved on to another AFCON. We couldn't perform. We came back, as my brother said, we've sacked our coach. But you've not heard of the state of the team manager. So we want to know, in as much as we went to Cameroon, the team manager then was sacked. What about this time to we get eliminated out of the group stage? But you don't know the state of the, our team manager. Will he be maintained? And if you be maintained, what are the reasons that you be maintained? Thank you. Please, um, colleagues, let's let's go straight to the point so that we can take as many questions as possible. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. My name is Alexander with the Multimedia Group Limited. My question goes to the Chief of and Kito Kriku, and I'm glad. The general secretary mentioned the fact that we've got a lot of you know top journalists on the ESCO as we speak more than ever. And 
I know that Jesus will die. incident of attack on the colleague journalist when the black guy went away to the EU to play a friendly match. And in Ivory Coast, we that person in the video, that person has also been linked to the Jehovah's President. Basically, she is on top of the question of bravado. And my question is that the Jehovah's President sees this. Is he not worried? And if he's worried, what steps is he taking to address the issue, to avoid that big public perception about this? Thank you. Okay, so the fifth one, and then we will pause and take the answers. Good morning, my good boys. And uh, this is a very uncomfortable situation to be in, so I think it's all of you over there. But we need to move kind of forward. Uh, my question is simple. What is the criteria of selecting players into the national team? That's my question. What is the criteria of selecting players into the senior national team? And going forward, I'm going to alter it in a way. I don't know what that is, but let's see the way forward. Thanks. Thank you. So, colleagues, uh, we will take the answers and then we'll come back later for more questions. Um, Mr. President? All right, thank you very much, and uh, it's good morning. Good morning to everyone, and lovely see. <laughs> you know, he he MC the. A national service night here at the same hotel in 1994. Uh, he was the MC at national night. You see that uh, that uh, how do you call it? Like uh, the pavilion. Yeah, that's why we had a national night in 94. Love is he was the MC, and we've been uh, great friends and colleagues uh, since then. Good to see you, my brother. Yes, 1994. Uh, Sure, you were, you were in primary school. Okay. <laughs> anyway, all right. So, uh, I think the first question I have to do is who takes responsibility. I think that uh, it's taking responsibility. The coach uh, is taking responsibility. and is assured that it's going to take all the steps necessary uh, to ensure that um, we do not have uh, that kind of... It's reflective of the fact that you have different players or different stakeholders. You have the technical team, you have the players, you have the management. And all of these have roles to play in ensuring that there is success. And it's only um, right that when there is failure, um, all such parties would have to take responsibility. And so if you expect that when there is success, you ought to be rewarded or applauded for that success, whether you're a player or a coach or the management of the, the team of football, when there's failure, you also ought to take responsibility. So I believe that in this case, all those who had roles to play have accepted responsibility um, duly. I think that that should um, answer the, the, the question. And then I think there was one that uh, was talking about coaches and a team manager and all that. I think in 2021, First of all, in 2019, the AFCON 2019 was not um, the, 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 that was in Cameroon. Cameroon was 2021. The 2019 tournament was under normalization. If I recall, 2019 was under normalization. So 
Um, under Kete Okweku, he's been in Cameroon in 2021 and then Cote d'Ivoire in 2024, which is actually the 2023 tournament. Now, after 2021, you realize that it was a technical team, and what people even forget is that the management committee was also dissolved. And sometimes I see a mix between management committee and ESCO. The ESCO members have been elected by the GFA Congress and the different constituencies in the FA for a term of office. That is completely different from the management committees of the national teams. And if you look at the management committees of the national teams, you would find at most one um, ESCO member, one normally. In extreme cases, two, but it's normally one. So if you take the Black Stars uh, Management Committee, um, for example, in 2021, it was headed by George Amwaku, who was an ESCO member. The other members, Mr. Fred Papu, um, Sami Kufo, I believe? Yes. 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 Um, in 2021. No, 2021. It wasn't. If you check out the membership at Akwesia Jiman, all of them, you would realize that it is only George Amwaku, the chair, who was an ESCO member. If you look at the current, uh, the Black Stars Management Committee that was in charge after the after the Cameroon 2021, you'd realize that it is the vice president, Mr. Makado, who chairs that committee. He's the only ESCO member on that management committee. All the others are non ESCO members. But I say that we tend to mix or confuse the two. You have your ESCO, they have been elected, they have a term of office, and then you have the specific management committees for the national teams. Now, uh, Cote d'Ivoire has come, we're taking steps, the, the, the announcement was about the technical team, the dissolution of the technical team. The dissolution of the technical team. The technical team includes everybody so defined in the technical team. And so I don't see this thing about in Cameroon, a particular officer was sacked and the others. It was a dissolution of the team. Sometimes when you have the reconstitution of the team, whether it is management, whether it's technical, there might be reasons why one or two people who were in a previous team could still be in a new team. There could be those reasons. But the truth of the matter is that I don't want us to create the impression that somebody was handpicked previously and sacked. And now there is a new development and somebody who holds that same position is still in charge. There was a dissolution of a technical team. There's a dissolution of a technical team today. What the composition of the next technical team for the Black Stars will be, I don't know. I'm sure when we get there, we'll deal with it. Thank you very much. players to the national team. I think the competition regulations and um, what we do with FIFA it simply says that a player of the country, that's the first selection criteria. So if you are not a Ghanaian, you can't be in the Ghanaian national team. That is clear. The, what is left is left to the coaches. So the coaches select the players based on their gameplay and philosophy and I'm sure the coaches can explain that better. Thank you very much. Again, if I remember the question clearly, it has to do with some few incidents that has involved some of our colleagues in the media. So, generally, 
the executive council is the appointing authority for everybody and anybody that works or represents the Ghana Football Association. People are appointed by the executive committee to perform specific duties. And when such persons are appointed by the executive committee, of which I am a member, they are expected to follow the responsibilities that have been assigned to them to the fullest. It's unfortunate that some few incidents has happened that involved some of our brothers. I would not want to go into specific details about how incident A happened or incident B happened. It's also important, like I said from the beginning of this session, that we as individuals and as a family must be honest in what we do and what we say. So for example, if Ketu Kraku or if the arrangements are that as per the call of the Tinker team of the Black Stars, training is supposed to be held behind closed doors. And Kate is a journalist and because I know somebody, I find my way into the territory that you're supposed not to be there, you'll definitely be asked to go away. Sometimes we don't take it, we don't we are not happy with it. But it's not Ketokraku's creation. The security guard has to follow the demands either of the team or of the Tinker team. And when it is that we don't have to veer into certain areas, please, just please, let's respect it. So that you'll be able to work in a serene atmosphere. The players will be able to work in a serene atmosphere. We respect all media men. I'm still a media person because none of you can take away my certificate from the history of journalism. And I still inspire a lot of the younger folks. Let's learn and let's work together. This is the way. Thank you. Okay. I, I want to win the World Cup. Again. Eh? I went to win the World Cup. I went to win the AFCON. I went to win every competition that Ghana finds itself. That is the vision of myself and everybody. And and I want Pram Pram our Tenka Centre to be Kabehe. And inshallah it will be Kabehe. Thank you. Okay, thank you. The next batch of questions. Okay. Good morning. My name is um, Franklin Langan Juma. I'm chief editor for GanamaSports.com and Strong School member. Um, my first is to do it in commendation to the uh, GFE and the Executive uh, Council when it comes to women's football. To me, women's uh, football has seen a progress. We've now seen the Black Wings qualifying for the first time in so many years to the Afco Women's Afco. So it's a plus to the GFA and I would like to recommend you on that. Our basic problem is to do with the uh, football when it comes to men. Um, when the person was talking, you made mention of the referees and coaching. My question is, um, is it true we are still on the referees and only the coaches when it comes to under 17 to under 23 black stars is exclusive and the other thing i would like to know is when it comes to the players who were um top two coming to play for the black stars like Sanisu and Binaki, what is the assessment of these players in the national team
this case? Was it when I went to the county and I tried to shut him? And the last is to do with the use. Does the FA have any influence on the use? They did a good reason of the people that are here and they will see them in the years of the school year. Does the FA have any influence on the use? Thank you very much. Our know, lady Ghana at the core of Kono, a year a pine at the number. Now, if you know, no more support to no, and in the own building crown, who if a president or no members need to pay a mark. It's the time of war of Kona, and no more crown, or lose or fail. Now, more pam, no more dick, no coach, I'm a pay at the number. Until you free buy on a set a new team, I'm on the a coach for the other. Let us are. And Tessa in Chimon and the same. A fee GF no de Crataba Bonte the Pagana Fuinacho said, Ye see Afcon Arsenal. Na and yet ye na de Penono. The Wabantes are then in the Amante, a gun of four dona Casa Homo and Sana Eber. Na me beside Esconese and Che Yabian a Casa Bet Power. Um, almost found us if no ye come and a Yasasanica cra. Na Esco Nugusua, I think the modern announcement and by much less the NJPR for four Beba. If you see him, Ligon, Es Tuaso, Namia Doma, our community, and me. And then so pain and Esco no more drew as to getting a new sponsorship for the Ghana Premier League. Thank you. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I'm Raphael from Media General. There is, um, from my observation, a direct correlation between how nations use their FIFA forward money and the kind of development that happens in their football or that happens within the game. Since 2016, about $8.6 million has been assessed by GFA. Unfortunately, we do not have any decent facility where our national teams can train. Yeah. We do not have a decent facility where our national teams can train. 
shocking in terms of the usage of the money is how it has been used for Ghana. So when you look at it, you see administration, you see equipment, some of them going for as much as 3.6, some of them $2.9 million. I ask this simple question. Based on what has happened, the disastrous campaigns that we've had, have we learned anything from that? Mauritania and the likes are developing their game with the amount of money they are receiving from this FIFA forward money. Unfortunately, ours is the opposite and that is a reality. What have we learned from it and going forward, how are we going to judiciously use that money for the benefit of the game? And the Vice President has chaired a committee that looked at the bonus structure of our national teams, if my memory serves me right, with Mr. Kujofiano serving as the vice to that particular committee. What happened to that document? And why are we still doing the same old things in incentivizing our national teams with money, which is not yielding results, when extrinsic motivation Compare that to intrinsic motivation, you know that intrinsic has been Why are we always fueling this drive of using money as an incentive to get the national teams performed when it has woefully failed over the years? Thank you. So, so. I am, I'm very happy, especially when people, people ask questions on, on the forward scheme. And it's very important we all pay attention and listen. Before I answer the question, it's very, very important as practitioners of journalism to also go deep beyond the ordinary to know the truth. This is very important. It's part of our responsibility as a journalist. So it is also not good when we preach what we think is right, but which is not the truth. In my attempt to seek the mandate of the football family, I studied the forward program. So I'm proud to say that I'm one of the people who is very, very vested in the forward program. It is the reason why today our country is able to assess funds from the forward program. Let us not forget that the forward program, to use my own adjectives again, is distinctively distinct from the goal project. Let us not confuse. We here came to office on October 25, 2019, and not in 2016. So it will also be wrong for anybody to start saying that the FA has received 8 million, 9 million. I have not received 8 million, 9 million from the forward program. This must be made clear. In fact, when we assumed office, we had lost the opportunity to assess FIFA forward 1.0. We had lost it. Because the forward program has regulations and is time bound. When the cycle is gone, it's gone. And the Obi Kachira will say this FA SRT say or assessive forward funding from 2016. Tell the fellow it is not true. It is not true. This FA came into office on October 25, 2019. Now my member specifics. MAs, which is member association, which is football association, in every country must 
I identify the needs of the industry and meet the application requirements which is carefully set up by FIFA to be able for, to, to be able to assess forward funding. And therefore, let us get the understanding right. It's also wrong for you to think ahead or for you to think that you are you can think ahead of the ESCO and those of us who are taking decisions on our planning. As I stood here in the morning, I spoke clearly about specific FIFA forward projects that are due to start in August. Sebi Sebi, Sebi Sebi. It's a four year term. We have to plan over four years and ensure that we go according to our plan. I can't run the race according to what Nigeria is running his race. Neither can I run the race according to what Zimbabwe is running, or Mauritius. When Mauritius started assessing forward funding, Ghana was not assessing forward funding. Let's get the understanding clear. When lots of countries started assessing forward money, Ghana was not able to assess forward funding. In very recent times, we even read of a country having constructed 14 pitches. Is that not true? What turned out to be the true case? It was false. If you remember, there was a news break that the Gambia have used forward money to construct 14 pitches. Maybe. Basic calculations, now pick back my question. So, so in case we missed what I did say, let me just recap. I have said here that we are constructing floor lights on the AstroTef in Pram Pram. I have said here that the entire land space is going to be walled or fenced. I've said here that we are going to construct a 40 bed accommodation facility. I have said here that using the same forward money, we're going to construct two top of the range, what, natural grass pitches. I've also said here that we are going to invest in the procurement or purchase of vehicles for football development. In These are our identified needs. I've also said, and we have done, Seven seven hundred and forty-two thousand U.S. dollars in the construction of the first ever standard astro turf in Upper East. Using the same forward money, we're going to construct two top of the range what? Done it already. It's Canada. So we are all different. Some countries solely use the forward money to run their leagues. Some use their money to pay national team coaches. What I can guarantee is that through the hard work of the Secretariat, aided by the legal department, Ghana is at the minute assessing funding from FIFA. And we will judiciously apply same to the development of football. I have said here that one of the legacies I want to leave is to do what? Is to make Pram Pram Kabehe. And by the grace of God, it will happen. Thank you. Sir, first, we have a question. Yeah. About creating
please. Okay, so Sebi Sebi Sebi. I didn't imagine I had four volunteers in Namibia. I don't know about four. I'm paying four winning hour. Doctor, doctor, James, I'm going to say I didn't know what Football. We will judiciously apply same to the development of football. Tell me, Rap, we see up here, a captain blasters. No, let me a journalist. Okay, so Sebi Sebi Sebi. I didn't meet you. Mumpe Glory. At the end of the day, we can't be saying, Sebi, 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 and I've had an Avram Grant. When I've had the chance to demand of them, I demand performance. He is on the ESCO. He demands performance. And he's going to demand performance from every quarter he employs. I've had and blessed to have worked and to have known a lot of big coaches. Venga, Uli, may you rest in peace. Uh, uh, Ferguson, Avram Grant. When I've had the chance to demand of them, I demand performance. The person said, the team let me share the team now on the screens. As you see, a team playing good football and winning games. And this is the demand I'll make of every coach that works for Ghana. Because he appeared in me. Only me. He is on the ESCO. He demands performance. And he's going to demand performance from every coach I ever employ. Because he's in me. In team Patro, you're in Tobia. You're in Tobia. Say, say, you. And I think you're in here. And can you know? You're in here. Egypt, two to me, you're in First game you lose your move. Last game you lose your move. And say they continue to support the cause. God willing to get the right coach. And with patience, they will take us to the promised land. Okay, so um, and then coverage of the league is that time, okay.
Uh, let me take uh, DDP. We had a partnership with uh, DDP, and like you said, the intention was to support the promotion of the Premier League and uh, other FA uh, products. And then how to look at everything so that when we are coming out, we come out fully. And so there was no delay, they say. We had to, we had to meet and then the meeting was done. Uh, we had to take a reflection and everything and then we came. The payment to other national team coaches. So currently, it is only the Blasters that the coaches have contracts for which the Ministry for Youth and Sports supports us with the payment. The other coaches are not on contract, so they are on, uh, when they win, the allowances and bonuses that are given is what they are on. What we are, we've done as an effort on few occasions when we are able to create resources is to support those coaches with allowances, some allowances. Uh, the idea and which we worked toward was to have all the coaches on contract. Uh, currently, uh, we are still engaging with the ministry to bring this to full fruition. We've had a lot of deliberations uh, on this one. Um, so, currently, the current situation is as and when we gather money, we support the coaches, apart from the bonuses they get um, from the ministry. The other one has to do with start, uh, no, sorry, bed, bed power. Yes, bed power, uh, since the relationship was um, amended, uh, we've been working very hard to bring on a new partner, like we said, and that work is ongoing. And um, once we, we get a new partner, we'll, we'll make it uh, that announcement. Uh, start times coverage of the league, uh, we've had a, a good relationship uh, with Star Times and uh, we continuously engage with them and it's continuous improvement. The coverage of the league is not only about TV, it also uh, includes other factors, uh, TV friendly stadia and all. So we'll continue with our engagement to ensure that uh, who will, will, will make improvements uh, year in, year out. Now, employing additional cameramen, um, I think the quest is to have all our matches covered. And that is why the FA spends a lot of money engaging a lot of our brothers in the media to do coverage for us. From the women's um, Premier League. We have a partnership uh, with uh, Mass TV, uh, again a member of the Star Times family, uh, through which we bring the Women's League. TV screen. Uh, years in the disciplinary action and also to get all the goals and get all the statistics for you. The same happens with the um, Division 1 League. We again employ Division 1 League are 48 uh, clubs, so we have 24 matches for which the FA engages cameramen and pay them to cover for us. And, and so that's why earlier when I was speaking, I said this FA engages a lot of the media uh, uh, gainfully. Same for the Premier League. The matches that are not on start times, the FAP cameramen, and they are covered for us so that we get all the matches done. Uh, I think uh, the only thing left to cover are the players uh, who, uh, I think the example was mentioned of uh, Inaki and then Salisu and the rest. I think, like I said, for national teams, every Ghanaian 
The qualifying mark is every Ghanaian. Every Ghanaian is qualified to play for the national team based on your skill set. So once the coach needs you, the coach will call you. The work for the FA is that when we identify a Ghanaian who is doing in the world, including our own local league, we make the environment friendly and acceptable for the person to offer their skill set to the development of the national team. It is then left for the coaches to select who they want to select. So when we go in for any player, the first qualification is that the player is a Ghanaian and is willing to offer his services to help uh, our development. They are used. I have done that use since they were very young and I was very young as a young journalist. They are Ghanaians and they have a skill set that they are willing to offer for the national team. Again, it's left to the coaches to determine. And I'll take this opportunity to plead with all of us. There are times play may not go well. And there are times these same players, any player who has ever done the national team, Jesse, will give us joy and good moments. I will plead that we become very measured in our critique of these players. Because guess what? If we are playing football tomorrow, we will need players. A coach will need players. It is the way and manner we treat these players that will make them offer their services to the national team. I dare say that if we are not careful, there will be time nobody will be willing to come and join our jersey. And you, are, you agree with me that we need players to play for us, especially when there are players are playing at the very highest level. So there is no player who has any influence on anybody. But the coaches will determine, the players will fit their game plan to play for us. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. General Secretary. Um, I think there was an issue about um, Ghana sacking the coach after the 2022 FIFA World Cup in, in Qatar. Just want to mention that also was sacked. He decided to work when his contract ended after the tournament. So just for clarity's sake, just want to check that in so that we will. And then also those of you at the back, please. We came here to um, listen to the executive council and especially regarding issues between and your mind. So when they are talking and you are also um, speaking at the back, you are unable to understand the things they are they are saying. So please let's be attentive as they answer the questions. So we'll take our last two batches. So we have 10 questions and then we will wrap up. Thank you. Uh, so we'll next, the next round of uh, questions. My name is George Mensa. Oh. My name is George Mensa, but on radio they call me Icon. Yeah. Let me start by encouraging you the hard work GFA President, Mr. Kett, Edwin Simon Okeku, and the Football Association understand the things they are they are saying so please let's be attentive as they answer the questions we will take our last two matches so we have 10 questions and then we will appointing a deputy communications because look it looks like the workload on him is too much so that he hardly he hardly you know get down or he hardly you know yeah he hardly, he hardly get down for for, 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 for some of us, we hardly get time to take our calls. We sometimes respond to, you know, our questions and everything. So I'm just asking if the football association will consider appointing a deputy communication officer, because the sports ministry, the sports ministry currently have two communication officers. The presidency also have. 
Yeah, me, I'm in my group. I would to me, you know, it makes a work to be too difficult for we as more journalists. <laughs> <laughs> The battle of Friday appears to be. The Audi be whom he is Mahamaba. Mr. President, Pacho has been looking at Adi and his friends say. The Pacho, who is the person who is questioning? I'm sorry, seven days left. You know. Poor Gabi, he is busy seeing the heart of football. Once again, can you not be doing what you want to do? The more we are in war, say. Politician, maybe by me, do my part. They watch man quite the stadium. Yeah, yeah, football. What they think we support right now? Mr. President, and look how bad. Aha, and look how many guys are holding away our feelings. Because the football club that we are in, can do. See, big ball, big guy. We don't have to be a tourist. We are just the way we are. Now the question is, Mr. President, don't name me your bag in the room for me to book in the. MP Achi. More seconds, bound for the moon in Africa football. A penny, okay, you should be a bit as a second day. When you all year, who are with my quarter. If you are by a year, you can for me, dear president, now you are quite a bit. I will spread in every day. Away, you are moving and just said, You are cotton and maintain your queer, you are near back. You are very good. You are not very good. And you have been an amable background. Oh, yeah, and I was in the TV and the other idea. A police is so far aside. Catch that you need. If you come and see, you need to. You have to have football. Move that you have to. You have to lead. You have to take your young Kenya and Kasa. If you are not in the home area, and you are not in the club, you are not in the club. You are not in the club. Catch that you need to. You are not in the club. 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 Um, from Nkoko, Oboba Media Group, Oboba FM. Um, my first question is a follow-up question for the Vice President, Mr. Mark Ado. Concerning the budget, um, when he was making his statement, he said that the $8.5 million permeating within the system, he do not subscribe about that. Or he do not subscribe to that. Then, if that's so, I want to know, after which he said the FA have to make like he said uh, the 8.5 million dollars it is within the system of which uh, people are saying it it's like people are saying it but he don't know the actual He doesn't know how much the actual amount that has been spent, right? Okay, but 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 yeah, yeah. Sorry for that. But he made mention of the FA um, have to prepare budgets and send it to the ministry for approval. And I want to know how much did the FA budgeted and presented to the um, the ministry. That's my first question. That's the follow-up question. And the last question is: I want to ask: Is it not? Uh, wise enough whenever we are appointing a coach um, so that we have the intake or the input from the technical director because uh, so many occasions we appoint coaches without the input of technical directors. Like now, we have appointed some committee members to search for a coach while we have a technical director around. But, pardon? Okay, okay. So that, that's my question. Thank you. Good afternoon, please. Mr. President, my question is to you, so if you can pay much attention to me. Uh, my name is Leto from Akuma FM in Kumase. My name is Leto from Akuma FM in Kumase. Um, President, Sika Kono made it to us that. During this time, there was a lot of interference from the FA concerning player selections. Um, if you can speak to it, um, is it true or uh, did CK painted a, a, a black image to us and also to prosper? Um, you just said that the FA is a media uh, um, 
we have a media relationship. But just before this um, press meeting, Sadiq uh, Adams and other media members have been blocked. You responded that um, it happened accidentally. But myself and you know that if you are to block somebody from Twitter, it takes steps. So all these steps that lead to the blocking of Sadiq and other media houses, uh, other media personnel, are you trying to explain to us that it happened based on mistakes? That's, that's what I want to know from, from um, Prosper. And then to get the CK question. Thank you. I think um, we need to establish that Sadiq Adams officially is the only one coming out to say, no, no, I mean, you said before this event, so we need to situate it. Thank you. My name is Richard Atampo. I work with Media General. Uh, uh, so we are talking about media friendly, media friendly, and all of that. I was not in La Côte d'Ivoire, but my colleagues there who went there say the FA did not even pay a visit to them. So I'm surprised you are talking about media friendly, media friendly. That the media guys who went to La Côte d'Ivoire to cover the tournament, no, they were situated at one place. Actually, when as a, a, a car person, not a, a GFA person. Okay, so, no, but, but that's what I heard. I was not there, but they said the FA did not uh, visit them. And not just visit, like visit, I mean visit. Actually, you understand my point. And that's what I'm saying, that you did not visit them in Labijan. But we are talking, Achi is a media person. Everybody is a media person. My boss, Randy, is a media person, but no visit. And I think that was something that we can check. We understand. Boss, I know you do, you understand. Right. So, uh, my main question will come, but sometimes, no, no ask question. Sometimes, when we play the national anthem before our game, my mother in the house was asking me, Are these Ghanaians, apart from Richard Ofori, who was able to sing the national anthem? Almost all our players were just standing there. But you look at other countries and the passion with which they sing the national anthem when it's being played. I think that. I think the ESCO can, can have certain orientation for our players. For me, when you are playing the national anthem of Ghana, and you see Ghanaian players standing just like that, for me, I think it's something that the ESCO can inculcate in our players. Yes, you are coming to work for the country. At least they are paid. Sometimes they take $100,000 as appearance. We can tell them you should be able to sing our national anthem as part of what, uh, reasons why you are playing for the nation. I think that is something that... Uh, Observe, and I think that uh, we can do. For for for. Oh, I've not asked my question. Okay. All right. No, sir. I, I only made comment on what I. I've not asked my question. Okay. So this is my question, uh, Mr. President. You said that. Uh, we did not get, we, we, let me try to paraphrase what he said. That what we were expecting is not what we got. I know in 2021, after what was played in 2022, we did not get what we were expecting. So we came back, we did some, uh, a few changes here and there, expecting to get an improved result. Then we went back to 2023, after which was played in 2024, we still did not get improvement in terms of the actual results, and uh, we still hesitate at the first stage of the competition. You enumerated a lot of things that all of us can do, and what the ESCO is doing, uh, and what you are doing as the president, that will make our, our performance, or as it were, that will help us to achieve the expected results. So far, I think it's five years into office for you. Will you say that in terms of the Black Stars, you are failed as the GFA president in terms of the blaster so far. Will you accept that you are failed? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Judo Sparfor, representing Kumasi FM. I first of all would want to commend um, the GFP president and your office that you people really have done a fantastic job. Looking at the fact that indeed we came from an expose, but within the short period. The way and manner in which you've been able to transform our game, I mean, it's awesome. So I really would want to commend 
your husband. Say, this is my question. Say, this is my question. And you stated earlier the challenge bedeviling your outfit, I mean, as monetary. You cited one example as monetary. Except the monetary challenge bedeviling your outfit. What are some of the other challenges bedeviling your outfit? And then my final question is to um, the revered Dr. James Akwesiapia. Currently, he happens to be the coach for the Sudanese national team and also doubles as an ESCO member. And um, boss, is it not challenging? Is it not difficult? I mean, having to combine that job as a coach for the Sudan national team and as an ESCO member as well. We take, we take the answers and then we will wrap it up with the final patch. Um, it's a general secret.